Hi Team Crown, how not deal with India happen with in the sub. Welcome back to our channel. Okay, guys, first let's talk about Waje's daughter. Well, for those of you that don't know, the singer Waje has a beautiful daughter. She celebrated her birthday just yesterday. And guess what Waje did? Waje shared her pictures or her videos, okay, or videos with her. That's amazing. A lot of people are just saying, huh, that, that girl, she's beautiful. Her name is Emerald, by the way. Let's watch this video. This one is about copyright infringement and it involves Casey, E-Money and one Mr. Jude who claims that he is the original owner of the song released by Casey uh, recently. Like this is Casey's, uh, this is one of the biggest songs, you know, Casey has like ever released in a long time and the song is really getting traction. It's an Igbo song, right? So this man is coming out to say that the whole idea and everything was stolen from him. He needs his money and is filing 150 million copyright infringement suit against Casey and E-Money. That is the five star um, record or is it five star entertainment? So, um, you know, it is just one of those things that you go through as a musician. Um, he's seeking, this man is seeking, um, you know, a declaration that the copyright as well as the ownership right to the song titled Somto, Somto Chuku, which was included in the music album titled Cultural Praise Volume 1 by Casey, you know, without his consent or authorization. He is saying that Casey have to pay him the money because this song, according to him, was, you know, released in 2001 and Casey just released the song I think in 2020 yeah and he got a lot of views even the audio just the audio and got a lot of views okay guys that is it let us move straight to the next one here we have the video now the video is about to drop a song with the baby the baby is a is an award-winning American rapper the baby posted Love life and drop the song of the summer. And Davido replied, We actually did make the song of the summer. So I think they have a song coming up, fingers crossed, because yeah, because I also like that baby, you know. Um, he's a very good rapper, by the way. I'm still on Davido. Now here we have Davido teaching the American singer Enisa how to speak Pigeon English. Let's watch. Davido's gonna teach me some pigeon. Right, how to greet. Like, how to greet. Alright, greet my fans. Wake up in the morning and see my fans. How you doing? How you doing? No. No. Day. Like day. 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 Like. How you doing? Yeah. That's how I do it. Okay. How you doing? I say too late. How you doing? Too late. How you doing? Too late. Too late. How you doing? Too late. Too late. How you doing? Too late. Too late. Too late. Okay. How you doing? Too late. Too late. Too late. Okay, burner boy here. Burner boy gift food items to over 300 families in Ogoni Land, Rivers State. That's that's burner boy is. Burner boy always, you know, give out and try as much as possible to help the less privileged, the old women. He does that a lot. I'm sure of that. Um. Yeah, you could see the, the banner here, 300 plus families to receive food packs in Rivers State. Okay, guys, still on Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy homecoming um, concert was amazing. Big deal, okay? Big deal. Now, it seems like Port Harcourt is finally becoming the next big thing. We have Omali from Port Harcourt. We have Bonner Boy from Port Harcourt. We have Timaya from Port Harcourt. Like, these are big stars and having someone like Omali who is very promising again it's just like whoa Port Harcourt what is going on 
<laughs> myself i'm just surprised and here we have bonaboy's reaction to his gift you know he was giving hectares of land in old jerry so here's his you know reaction um you know to that um in front of wiki the governor he said he's going to do not just that he also gave you know 10 million naira each to every artist that came to perform <laughs> Here we have Tatcha reacting to the story, you know, about Wiki giving each musician 10 million never and also hosting Borna Boy in a reverse state. Let's watch. I'm not exactly a fan of Governor Wiki because he hasn't done much for the people of the state. But you are mad. Like you are lady mad to think what Governor Wiki did yesterday for Borna Boy was unnecessary or wasn't priority. Like you're legit crazy y'all don't know my state like you guys don't freaking know my city entertainment in my city is dead like literally nightlife is gone and dead can he be blown out of the window so for him to like okay bonaboy boy come down let me give you a land let me give you 10 million and you people are thinking that's too much you are crazy like you are losing it bonaboy boy should have a whole town named after him he won a grammy yo not some like interstate local awards he won a whole grammy that's what bonaboy boy won he should even have like public holidays dedicated to him so all just here crying and whining say oh yeah that's not priority why would we can want to see him you are mad <laughs> You are mad because he has won something that <laughs> let me not even try to shade your faves like let's just move guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below now here is a party in nigeria guys we're gonna take the ceo this money look at cash on the like this is a lot of money being sprayed in a party I Here we have um, Omashola, Pastor Omashola. Uh, Pastor Omashola is the um, big David Doe fan. For those of you that watch my videos or my previous videos, you, I've talked about this man. This man reacted to what Just Lover posted recently and it's still the same story but um, a different reaction. That's how I'm just going to put it. It's about a sex tape, okay? And Just Lover keep kept talking about the sex tape using the sex tape against this man and this man is threatening like serious threat <laughs> he said he's gonna make this lover disappear by the way for those of you that don't know this lover is a, a blogger on instagram the page has been blocked multiple times but he kept creating or he or she whoever it is kept creating new pages almost every is it like almost every month because uh, at least in a month or two months the page will be blocked by instagram so he kept creating new pages and and have backup page you know so um the threat is very very serious and there's something he said in the video he said i will take you out permanently what does he mean by that he said i have your address i have this i have that you know he said it's he knows the person behind it he said there's a guy that's behind it and is an evil boy but the person that person doesn't sound like an evil boy or doesn't sound like even like um a, a man it sound like a female but i might be wrong let's watch this video guys first and foremost um i'm not ashamed to say i have a sex tape that's uh way back into my past okay and secondly i have never denied anything as regarding the sex tape um, as a matter of fact when it happened I was 
sincere enough to come out and okay accept it and take responsibility and all of that and it's very saddened and uh, unfair uh, that this lover blog will be parading the internet with uh, news of me and um, uh, it's really really pathetic secondly i want to make it very clear to this lover blog i have your ip address I, I i i know the number of the apartment you stay okay where you live i have serious information about you and i'm telling you i'll make you disappear i will bring your end I will destroy this lover and I'm saying it with all certainty and all boldness and all consciousness of mind. I will make you see I'm not one of those pastors you've been doing all of this trash with. This time, this is your water load, this is your end. I will make you disappear. The, I've warned you three times by taking down three or four of your pages actually. Four of your pages, and you know what I'm talking about. Four of your pages. But still you still don't want to listen and you still choose to be irresponsible and unreasonable okay this time i am making i will take you out permanently and i want to make it clear very unequivocally clear that i'm not married i've never been married i was not married even when that thing happened that is four years ago way back 2017 and the the, the 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 whatsoever clip was recorded far before that time okay it came out as a blackmail against my person because i'm a pastor and the lady in question as at that time and as at now is not married and i've never been married so i don't know where all of these lies is coming from and i know they are very much sponsored uh by just lover and whiskey the fc and their likes I want to make it very clear that I'm not intimidated. I cannot be intimidated in my past because I'm a pastor today and I would never be intimidated. And I want them to understand that it is insane for you to uh, begin to toy this path and it's dangerous because you don't do that with somebody like me. Uh, I also want to make it clear those because I don't understand why a blog, a blackmailer's blog, a faceless demonic blog will begin to manifest and people will be you know quick to just jump at her page and start trolling on me and all of that it's really really it's really really uh, sad and shows how deranged both the just lover blog the, the evil boy behind it i know you i know you and you i'll get you down the evil boy behind it and um, uh, the clueless brainless uh, followers that keep trolling my page you don't even know me you've not met me i've not offended you i don't know you and uh, you don't even exist in my world and you start trolling me it shows how stupid and how uh, redundant that yeah, you 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 and whoever is sponsoring you are thank you very much Chris okay guys moving on to the next one here we have something which is quite shocking here is a a Kenyan musician okay who bought himself a coffin a casket just in case something happened that's what he said he said just in case something happened whatever made him have this thought in mind i, I don't know either is you know having some mental issues or going through depression or in don't put your hand for something we're not supposed to put your hand if you know what i'm saying okay guys let us move straight to the next one and everyone is bashing um you know singer she she for for this she told the guy you are never going to make it as a as a singer and people are like are you crazy why would you tell somebody who came for a competition who came for, for this show to make it and say they will never make it that is so discouraging guys let's watch this yeah you have a sweet talking voice and it comes out in your singing voice but your performance terrible you are never going to make money being a singer let me know what you think about that here we have two clowns <laughs> I call them two clowns because, yeah, I, I love them, you know, as an actress. They are amazing actresses. I'm talking about Tony Abraham and Mercy John Sin. Both of them, they are, they are serious crews. Guys, let us watch this video. Touch me. It's <laughs> 
Oh, we are shooting my house. See, one bag of ammo. Messi, oh, they just come on and do zoom. Oh, my drop ball. 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 Oh, my any oh yeah, that by fire. Anybody that wants to come between, oh yeah, go. That by fire. That by fire. That by fire. Look, 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 look. Tony Abraham recently organized, you know, the premiere of the movie, you know, Prophetess, and look at <laughs> her grand entrance into the premiere venue. This is amazing. <laughs> Um, superstars here. <laughs> Guess I'm just kidding. <laughs> DJ Copy, you know, posted a video of a little girl who cried after meeting her. You know, it just a uh, little girl. She posted, This cool girl saw me uh, and ran up to give me the biggest hug and started crying. This is why I do what I do. Every black child needs to know that uh, they can be whoever they want and they are more than enough okay let's watch the video <laughs> oh don't cry oh, why are you crying my princess <laughs> sing as well. so if you see our neck she was just turning the neck she was <laughs> just turning give me a hug oh my god oh my god <laughs> Sam, you know you're really beautiful oh my god i love your glasses i never see let me know what you think about that in the comment section below here we have our friend the friend of this channel Apostle Suleiman um, we have Apostle Suleiman talking about hate let's stop the spirit of hate hate is terrible when you are always looking for something negative to say about somebody and the reason people are saying is because there are people who also have hate in them ready to listen we should stop it a politician wants to hear that another politician slept and didn't wake up. Somebody wants to hear that somebody is down. Somebody wants to hear somebody is out of office. A pastor wants to hear another pastor's ministry has closed. A musician wants to see that another musician didn't do well. You know. And the thing you must understand is that everybody occupies a space. If you remove them, you can't replace them. You can't replace them. Beyond what you see in the physical, that person represents a family. People are connected to that person. You can't replace them. And for those of us who have been abused and insulted in any capacity, don't bother yourself. Whoever does not give you money should not give you a headache. Don't bother yourself. God will keep you. God will protect you. Moving on, here we have uh, the lady who... <laughs> I will never understand why people who want to cry or who say they are going to a heartbreak on social media would pick up a phone and click record. I can't, I can't still wrap my head around it. And you keep record, you record yourself while you're crying. You have so much time to click record, like to go to the camera, click record. Like, I don't know. Let's watch this. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, moving on to the next news. Remember in the previous video, we talked about um, Uchimado Agu going through depression. He said he's going through depression. But here is what Anita Joseph have to say after he posted that. She said, now is depression. And Uchimado Agu replied, Anita Joseph. My manager told me an actress mocked me. You mock person when they go through depression. There is God though. This is not the same actress. We will say I can be big pass a whole movie. Moving on here, something I'm proud to you know to talk about. There is a, a lady at Dejoke uh, Lasisi is her name. She's an entrepreneur who converts pure water um, waste nylon into clothes, bags, and shoes. According to reports, all these products in, in, the, in the pictures were made from pure water sachet, including her dress. Okay, guys, let us move straight to the next one. Here we have a lady who has something to say about Okonjo Riala. Let us quickly read and move straight to the next one. Stop comparing ladies in your neighborhood to Ngozi Okonjo Riala. Her parents were both professors and her dad, a rare majesty, they've always been rich. She was just 22 when she finished from Harvard University. You know how expensive Harvard is, right? She was 27 when she earned her PhD from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Someone who worked at World Bank for 25 years, rising to the position of managing director. No, it would be unfair to measure your seriousness in life by that woman's standard. Her brilliance is uh, motivating, but her circumstances are different. If you've also had the same parent, you would have probably done better. Most times, people aren't reduced to riffraff and socioeconomic passers-by because they are lazy or stupid. Poverty and powerlessness are just merciless conditioners. That's all. When you don't have money, that's not so much you could there's not so much you could do in the way of chasing dreams guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below moving on to the next news here is politics and it's about bola ametinumbu the former Lagos state governor who according to report will be running for president in 2023 in fact according to reports they said that this man will be nigeria's president in 2023 Tunde had not posted something recently. He said, now that Tinumbu has come to contest, do you know that Tinumbu will win the next election come 2023 and there's nothing we can do about it? The thing is, we all know this. Guys, do you know this? Another person says here, young people are on Twitter crying about Tinumbu pursuing his presidential dreams. Will INEC count our tears as votes on election day? Again, I ask, what is our plan for 2023? Particularly given the serious security challenges that have become one of the primary causes of despair and frustration among all the Nigerians, young and old alike. That frustration and despair are in large part caused by the chronic poverty and the breakdown of social institutions brought by Nigeria, hey, Baba. Okay, the last one here, guys. This is very, very funny. This guy, this thief, tried to run away with what he, what he's got in his hand. He obviously, it's from the store. So let us check what happened after I finally, you know. Try to run away. Let's watch. 
All right, ain't nobody watching. Take your time, Jamal. Take your time, Jamal. You got your mask on, Jamal. They can't see you. They can't see you. Oh, God damn. Shit. Yeah, this for y'all. That for y'all right there. I ain't shit. Nah, I'm waiting for you. Okay, guys, that is where I'm going to hold it. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.